to Hi folks, Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com and by request we are going to demonstrate how we clean our favorite feeder, our copper top feeder here. Hummingbird feeder. Let me say thank you, Leora. Leora is doing all the camera work here <laughs> and uh, she's wearing a very sparkly cap. I wish y'all could see. It's a lot of fun seeing her dressed this way. Anyway, um, if you'll notice, this there's still some nectar left and we've emphasized over and over again the importance of not just topping off. Now I know the temptation is to say, well, I'll just carry the liquid out there and top it off. I don't want to waste any. But really, this has been sitting out 90 degree temperature probably for about three days. And you don't want it out much longer than that. If the liquid starts to turn really cloudy or you see any mold anywhere around there, take it down immediately. But we like to do on a routine basis when we see it coming down to about this level it's been three days we're going to take it in we're going to empty it and then we're going to clean the whole thing thoroughly and i'll show you how we do that with this particular unit you actually have only three parts that you need to be concerned about cleaning this top comes off screws off and there's very little that needs to be done with it. I may polish it a little bit and check out underneath, see if there are any spider webs or anything there. And then you have the bottle. And this is the main thing that we want to clean. Well, if I open this up, chances are it's going to get the sugar water everywhere. I'm going to tilt it like that, keep holding it, and undo Unscrew. the bottle. Unscrews from the bottom. Yep, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And here we have the basic parts. You have the cover with the embedded flower feeding stations. You get some nice attractive red flowers there. And then the base is this plastic actually is the thing that screws on. Um, and just three parts, that's that's all. So, now a question, Colin, yep. um, on the pinched waste review that we did, the um, it was sort of like in the flower sections where a lot of the mold formed. Right. So does mold form on these? Hardly ever. It, it's, it's very little bit, you can, and I'll show you what to do with this once we get the soap going. Okay. Um, it's helpful to have warm water to do this part with. We'll just rinse this out a couple times get rid of what's in there, shake, before we add the soap, shake, okay, and we'll give a pump, this is just regular dish soap, and only one pump, that'll suffice, go a long way in fact, and um, we'll do this, a little bit more, a bottle brush is really handy, because that scrubs down the sides, and you can just, Get down in there, do twists and pushes. Pop it out slowly so it can get sprayed. There we go. Now, I'm gonna just pour this in here. The soapy stuff. Pour some in around here. And we also have a handy dandy brush that we use. We'll do underneath. Good. I don't know whether we're timing this or not. I figure maybe a couple minutes have passed. This is far easier to clean than the pinch waste type that we demonstrated before, how, <laughs> how technical it is. This is not very technical. And be sure to get inside here. This is where the, uh, if you're gonna get mold, it's gonna get right inside this area here. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see that yeah, okay. I don't see any, but always try to make sure you're getting to that and part. And you can also use a skinnier bottle brush to get in and around that. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, well, you rinse this off. Okay. Real, real, real important that you rinse all the soap out. We don't want to give these little guys indigestion or even worse from drinking soap. <laughs> That's not our purpose. And um, just one more time, I'm going to go on top of here. And what I'm doing is I'm jamming the brush, part of the brush anyway, down to the hole and scrubbing on the outside. There we go. You can feel it come through. The whole point of all this, folks, is just to make sure you're doing a really good job of taking care of these little birds. They're taking care of our garden 
they're actually not just nectar junkies, they're getting out there and eating mosquitoes and other bugs. And they certainly are a fine addition in terms of attractiveness and beauty to our garden. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse this out really well. The bottle is probably the most critical because there's still soap in it here. I'm letting this run until it starts to run clear. And then just to check, I'll uh, empty it out once. Swirl it on the sides. Swirl it on the sides, shake it. Look for any soap suds, don't see any. All right. Then, the fun part is the assembly, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you a, a cool thing that we engineered, I guess you'd say. And this is sort of like a, a drink, uh, what did you call this? Lenore? Beverage dispenser Bever for the refrigerator. Beverage dispenser, yeah. it's skinny for the refrigerator. Yeah. Now I've made up a fairly large batch, but we have three feeders we have to maintain. And it's convenient because you can make up a batch, remember it's one part sugar to four parts water. And we make it in a blender <clears throat> and then we pour it in here and it goes in the refrigerator. You can keep it up to two weeks, maybe a little more, in the refrigerator. And it's so convenient. Ordinarily, this is in the refrigerator. I just pull it forward and, um, and use the spout here to fill it. So this is us filling. Easy peasy. Right up to about there. All right, get a full charge. And you just put the copper cover on top, invert and spin. Make sure it's good and tight, not too tight. Okay, flip. Put our little hat on here. Oh, I'll just give this a quick rinse. The sun will dry it out for sure. Uh, and spin it on. And we are ready to take it back to our nice little feathered friend and friends and have them enjoy it. So that's it. How to clean a very fine hummingbird feeder. So. All right. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Thank you, Leora. Thank Thanks, you. folks. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.